I've got 10 more styles that you can try today in Mid Journey to get some stunning artwork. This is the third video in the series. I've got something different for you today. Just pop these at the end of your prompts, except for one, which I'll mention when I get to it. And the first style is palette knife painting, which creates a palette knife painted effect. And you can see here with the woman's face, it looks very three dimensional and very sort of traditional art wise. I've added the Terminator in here to see what kind of result we get with that. It does a pretty good job. Uh, futuristic car actually has created a futuristic car, but in a really old fashioned style of painting, which looks kind of retro and cool. And Bruce Lee, which I think has done an amazing job on capturing his likeness and turning it into some pretty cool art. But the next one is different again. It is called glitch art. And basically, if I add this to any image, it creates like a glitch effect, kind of like an old, a poor digital video. And the waterfall in nature has converted some of the water into like a glitch effect, which I think is really cool. Also, we have the futuristic car again. We've got glitches down the side of the buildings and around the wheels, and it kind of has a 3D glitch effect on the object. And a modern family home, state of the art, has created a bit of a glitch overlay and created something a little bit different. Also, abstract fun can be a great way to create some cool abstract imagery and overlays that you can use in designs. So adding a glitch art to that also does something pretty unique. The next one is made of Lego. As you can see here, we've got a woman's face made out of pieces of Lego, which is uh, probably not the most unique in the world, but it's a very cool effect. And we've got the same here with a modern family home. The home has been built out of Lego and even the Lego pieces and little knobs at the top are all showing. Futuristic car made out of Lego. The lighting is really good on this and it looks like something that's actually been built out of Lego and professionally shot with a, with a camera. We've got Optimus Prime made out of Lego, which I think is a little bit different. They can never seem to capture the Transformers well, but they do a good job in this one. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. And a waterfall in nature made out of Lego. Another uh, pretty interesting take on a waterfall using Lego. Now also to couple that, we've got Lego figurines, which is a different result again. If I try the same thing, waterfall in nature, it pops a figurine in there. But the best thing is when you start giving it characters like the Terminator, it creates a Lego figurine out of that character. Do the same for a samurai warrior in front of Mount Fuji. And he's got a little stand and we've got some mountains in the background. Bruce Lee, again, they've created a figure. Once again, I think they've referenced that yellow and black tracksuit from the movie Game of Death and turned him into a Lego figurine. And Mickey Mouse, a little bit more of a made out of Lego effect, but using Lego figurine, they've been able to do something with that, which I think uh, has worked out pretty well. Newspaper print collage. This is a really cool effect for designers or something a little bit different where it creates something like a woman's face using pieces of old newspaper and print and once again, the Samurai Warrior has a really cool effect where it's kind of overlaid an image over the top of newspaper. Or the same again with Optimus Prime adding a painting over the top of the newspaper. Or this one here where it's kind of still pieced together in the newspaper, but also pieced together a car out of those bits and pieces, which is another unique effect using this keyword. And again, Thanos, they haven't actually done him yet, but again, they've put the picture over the top of the newspaper, but it's still kind of got that collage look and feel to it. And also it looks like it's aged, like it's been pulled up underneath the carpet and uh, has a really uh, unique old fashioned look to it. Ink dripping drawing is one I used to use a lot of. And with the woman's face, it just creates a really interesting effect with ink dripping off the picture after it's been painted. But move on again to Bruce Lee. It's captured the likeness and created some sort of very traditional art out of his face. And again, with the samurai, you can see how it's framed it up nicely and added bits and pieces of color in it this time with little inks and sort of blots of ink all around the paper. And a modern family home, just a very traditional looking image with ink dripping art. And the Terminator it has that ink dripping look to it and has captured the likeness pretty well again. But uh, I also found these very useful for overlays in design work for graphic designers, but uh, with more abstract themes. But uh, moving on, we have action figures. It does a pretty good job of converting people into action figures. Here is a woman's face and it has a, this actually looks more like a statue, but I always like to keep this in here as a form of reference because it's more generic and shows you from theme to theme how things can look. But the samurai looks like a little action figure in front of Mount Fuji, which I think has worked out really well. And the home, this looks really interesting. It actually looks like a model that someone has built in their house of a modern family home. And this is obviously a family that's loaded because I don't know how many people I know have family homes with four levels to them. 
But a futuristic car, once again, like a retro 70s uh, action figure car, but uh, with that futuristic look to it. And the Terminator, again, it's created an action figure of the Terminator. The likeness, again, is really cool, but it looks like an actual action figure, which I, I'm just really impressed by how Mid Journey is able to perform that sort of trick with this phrase. Now, ASCII art. The idea of this was to try and get art made out of letters on a computer, but it didn't quite do that, but it does create a similar effect, which is interesting. I've got Darth Vader's helmet. It's created almost like a three-dimensional grid look around it. Uh, and a lot of the other things in, a lot of the other subjects in this have done the same effect. But with this one, the woman's face, it does look more like an old computer screen with the dots and the bits and pieces uh, creating the image, like a close-up on some pixels. And this time, the futuristic temple, it's got that ASCII art look, that old computer look to the art style. Incredible Hulk has done the same again, an old-fashioned art style, but opting for the more of a green screen effect because the Hulk is green. I like the way it kind of throws in little twists like that into the image. And Planet Earth, once again, looking more like a 3D object, but the countries, if you look around, the edges are a little bit sort of chopped up and blocky or pixely. And I think it's done a great job of creating something unique there. HR Geiger style, you've probably seen this before in the AI art world. It's pretty popular, but these days, Mid Journey does such an awesome job with it. This is Super Mario, so Mario character from Super Mario Brothers. It actually hasn't used Mario, but it's used a Mario-esque character, which I think has turned out really well. A woman's face. This is more HR Geiger than anything else here. Also, if you're not sure who HR Geiger is, he was one. He was the main sort of style behind the aliens in the Aliens movies. So you can kind of see that here with the woman's face. A futuristic car. This looks really cool, like a 3D render of a car that also has that gothic sort of feel to it. And I think it's turned out like a. This is a really good image. This one. Also, the few, the modern family home which kind of looks like an alien home with all the tentacle looking sort of metallic formations behind it is something completely different and unexpected, but carries that style really well. And Mickey Mouse, something that looks like a really cool kind of like sci-fi horror with Mickey Mouse in it that uh, HR Geiger is a really powerful phrase for getting this kind of effect with almost anything. Now, caricature is a little bit different again. So I chose a few celebrities to show you. They're all, they all get the same kind of result, but you want to put caricature, bef caricature before your theme. So you see in the prompt here, a caricature of Donald Trump. It's done a pretty good job of capturing his likeness, in my opinion. And the same Darth Vader. It's done something a little bit silly with it because it doesn't have a face, but it still has actually done a good job of creating something comical out of it. Arnold Schwarzenegger, once again, a cool looking image that really does capture what he looks like, but in that really fun sort of caricature style. Michael Jackson has captured his facial features, the pointy nose, the chin, the whole thing pretty well as well. And Dwayne, the Rock Johnson, looks a little bit skinnier here, but I think it's, it does interpret facial features and sort of warp them in a very interesting way. So uh, another cool style to work with. The last one is a bonus. I've done ink dripping drawing and I've doubled up on Lego, but I wanted to mention dripping art because you still get a different effect. So you can see how we get more color in dripping art. There's more color in this image of the woman's face. And also with Bruce Lee, it actually has done a different style on it, but it still introduced more color, a bit more yellow around that. I think it tends to step away from the black and white look a bit more when you use ink dripping art as opposed to drawing. And a futuristic car has kind of created a 3D render with ink drips and sort of like blobs coming off of it. So you can get some different sort of looks with this as well. And the Samurai Warrior in front of Mount Fuji. Once again, a cool traditional looking piece of dripping art. And finally, the Terminator again. A bit of artwork based around this guy. That's a bit of an Arnold Schwarzenegger themed one today. But uh, you can see how it's worked really well at converting that into like a wet painting and giving it a bit of a traditional look. If you look at the background and the way that the, uh, the paint strokes are kind of like horizontal and vertical and have a very squarey look to them, uh, I think it's worked out pretty well. Now, if you want to check out more of these styles, there is a video card on the screen now or a link to a playlist below with more videos I have on styles to use for mid journey. If you like this video, please give it a like. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again next time.